Okay, classic fish pie. That's what we're going to do today. Very nice, very classic. We've got smoke, haddock, pour the milk over. Panasonic microwave setting. Auto fresh fish setting. Seven minutes. So fish is cooked. We move to the oven. Be careful, it can be hot. So let it cool down a little bit before you do it. I think it's much better. Now, potatoes in the oven. Auto setting. Cooking. Now, during that time, I'm going to flake the fish. Pour the milk over, be careful, it can be warm, see? All right, and I'm going to start to flake the fish while potatoes are cooking. So obviously, th this one needs to be coming out of his, his skin, which is easy. You can take a spoon, your finger, whatever, skin in here. Make sure there is no bone, obviously. Okay, and voila, the rest can flake and mix together. At that stage, probably no salt because we've got smoke, haddock, and sometimes it's a bit salty as well. Little bit of paper. And now we can make the bechamel on the top of the hobs because we need the oven. If you've got time, you can make the sauce in a microwave. Very handy, very practical, very fast. So bechamel, classic, melt the butter. So good thing about the microwave, obviously, much faster. So uh, that would be much handy, uh, but needed for the potatoes, so therefore, I'll do that by hand. So, uh, butter is melted. Okay, now I'm going to add the flour. So at that stage, you remove from the stove and you mix it nicely. So make sure that, make sure that it's like a, a, almost a paste, but uh, not too liquid, a bit dry would be, would be better. All right, now it's almost ready. So slowly, I'm going to add the milk. You need a whisk at this stage, it's much easier. And first you add a little bit of milk. So you avoid to have some lamp within the sauce. So a little bit at a time. Now you can put almost, and obviously you need to keep a little bit of milk for the mashed potatoes. So uh, bechamel is ready, so you can see the, the consistency is not too thick, not too thin. You have a, a, a really nice, uh, white, shiny kind of, a, of sauce. What I'm going to do to give it a touch more flavor, I'm going to add a touch of white wine in here, like this. So make sure the wine is not too acidic, because otherwise it's not very good. And a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard, so we're going to enhance the flavor, and it does go very well with fish and mashed potatoes, actually. So mix a whole lot together. Okay. Just season a little bit. There. Okay, pour over the fish. Just cover the fish to the level, it's fine, it's enough. And after that, we just have to add our mashed potatoes on the top. And that's done. Superb. Okay, now potatoes cook. We're going to take them out of the oven. Obviously, it'll be very hot. Put them on side a little bit, let it cool down. While that is cooling down, what we're going to do is cut the eggs and put it on the top there. So cut in four, it's enough, or four, six if you want. There. One, two. To bring a nice flavor and a kind of a nice texture to it as well. It should be quite nice. Okay, potatoes ready now, cut in half. Okay, now it's good, you can handle them much easier. Ball ready, just scoop them out. Obviously, if it's still too hot, take a cloth. Uh, being a chef, I'm okay with that for the moment. Now, nearly finished, last potatoes. As you can see, they are cooked perfectly, very nice and dry, which will allow you to make really good mashed potatoes. A little bit of butter in it. Always a little bit of butter, which is nice. And don't forget, you kept some of the milk, which got all the flavor of the fish a little bit, which you're going to pour over it. And we're going to mash up the whole lot. Okay, that's ready. Scoop that over in a tray. Look at that, beautiful. Very creamy, very fluffy, very nice. Make sure you level it all the way. Little bit of grated cheese on the top. That's it, cover everywhere. Okay, then in the oven, combination of microwave and convection, which uh, save you a lot of time. Big advantage, no turntable, flatbed. 
great to cook bigger dishes and feed a, a bigger family, which is fantastic. Now cooking for 30 minutes. Okay, so that's ready now. Look at the scallops, beautiful. Be careful, obviously it's going to be extremely hot and quite heavy as well, so make sure you grab it with a cloth. Look at that, lovely color, beautiful smell, superb.